Hey everybody, Dr. A here, and in this video, we're gonna be providing some background information on seepage force. So it turns out that we can perform a soil seepage analysis based on a force per unit volume of a soil sample or of a soil column. And sometimes for some applications in geotechnical engineering, we find that uh, basing our seepage analysis on force per unit volume can be more convenient. So let's go ahead and um, start discussing this. Let's first start looking at the case where we have no seepage, okay? So we're gonna use this as a basis to kind of piece together this information. So consider that when we have no seepage, we have a soil sample all right, and let's say that the soil sample has uh, a height H, and let's say that um, the base area or the cross-section area, cross-sect area is A, all right? Now, that would give us the volume of the soil sample to simply be A times H, right? So if this is our soil sample and we're doing an effective stress analysis, then how would, we, um, how would we determine the effective force? Well, it would be quite simple. The effective force will act through the centroid of the soil sample, and we can call it P prime. And uh, quite simply, P prime, the effective force uh, due to no seepage, is just going to be equal to the effective unit weight, gamma prime, times the volume, okay? And so you can rewrite this as P prime equals uh, gamma prime times A H, all right? So that's the case of no seepage, all right? Now let's uh, add in the whole idea of seepage. And why don't we start with upward seepage, okay? So if we look at the case of upward seepage, then um, what, what are we going to see here? Well, um, when we look at upward seepage, we're still going to have the component of the self-weight, uh, just like we had with no seepage, but now we have this upward seepage force, okay? And so the way we can um, kind of piece this all together is we can say that if we have our soil sample, okay, and let's say that, you know, it still has a height H and we have, you know, P prime here where P prime is just as it was before. It was uh, gamma prime AH, okay? That's what we had before, but now we need to add to it a component that accounts for the seepage force, all right? That's developed due to upward seepage. So I'm gonna redraw the same soil element here, okay? But now we're gonna have this upward seepage force, okay? And I'm gonna call uh, this, um, let's see, what do I wanna call it? Uh, how about we just call this P seep for seepage, all right? Now, the question is, what is this P seep going to be equal to uh, when we have this concept of, uh, of upward seepage. Well, it's going to be as simple as P seep equals I gamma water times A H. Okay, so that's going to be the hydraulic gradient times the unit weight of water and then times the volume of the soil sample, which is the cross-section area times the height. All right. Now, if you put all this together, you know, you're going to end up with with your soil sample just like this. And uh, what you end up with is just a P prime and I'm going to call it P prime up for uh, to account for the fact that we have upward seepage and P prime up is just gonna be equal to the sum of each of these components, right? So if I call um, maybe down as positive, then I can say that this is P prime minus P seep, all right? And so P prime up is just gonna be gamma prime AH minus I gamma water AH. 
all right? And now what I can do is, you know, if you want to do some algebra here, you can say P prime uh, up is equal to open parentheses. Uh, we could say gamma prime minus I gamma water, close parentheses, times AH. So all I did there was I factored out an AH, all right? And this right here is a, an expression uh, for P prime upwards, okay? And uh, depending on, you know, whether which of these two magnitudes of these forces are larger will actually determine, you know, uh, does P prime up point up or point down, right? So um, that gets back to another concept that you can look into, which is this idea of loss of stability, okay? Uh, or an effective stress, or in this case, an effective force possibly going to zero, all right? So um, so that's the case of upward seepage. What about downward seepage? So let's uh, do the same kind of thing, but let's look at downward seepage, all right? So just like before, we're going to have uh, the, the sample with just its self-weight, okay? And, of course, it has a height H, and this is still going to be P prime. And just like before, we have um, P prime uh, equals gamma prime AH, all right? Um, but to that, we're going to add the situation where we have downward seepage, okay? And so I can put, you know, a vector here maybe and call this uh, P seep, okay? And in this case, uh, P seep is, is going downward, right? And so similarly, P seep is gonna just be equal to really the, the, um, the same thing that we saw here it's going to be equal to uh, I gamma water AH. So let's write that down, I gamma water AH. All right. Now, if, uh, if we want to come, you know, algebraically and graphically combine these, what is this going to combine to? Well, again, we're going to have a, a soil sample here, same height H, uh, same soil sample, and we're going to add these components together and... Um, what could this come up, uh, end up being equal to? Well, we could say that this is uh, P prime down, all right? And we add these two together, and of course, we get a P prime downward seepage of uh, gamma prime AH plus I gamma water AH, and then of course, we can factor some stuff out and pretty much have the same expression that we had here, but with a plus sign instead of a minus sign. So we would write that as gamma prime plus I gamma water uh, quantity times AH, okay? Now, um, the next question becomes, what is the change in total force due to seepage, okay? So I'm going to write this down now. The change in force due to seepage is, and we can have two different versions of it. We can have, you know, delta P equals P prime minus P prime up, uh, or uh, in the case of downward seepage, you would have P prime um, minus P prime down, okay? Now, if you substitute values in accordingly, uh, it's gonna be quite, you know, hopefully quite simple. Um, P prime is just gonna be gamma prime AH, and then we're gonna say minus, in the case of P prime up, it's minus gamma prime uh, minus I gamma water AH, and we're going to see that um, some terms will cancel, right? The gamma prime uh, AH is going to cancel with this gamma prime times this AH. And so what you end up being left with on this term is a uh, positive I gamma water AH, okay? Um, what, about, uh, what about the 
the case of downward seepage. So here we're going to have gamma uh, equals gamma prime AH minus, open up a bracket, gamma prime plus I gamma water AH. Close that bracket off. And uh, we still see again um, this term cancel here. And, you know, don't forget this AH gets multiplied in here as well. And so you end up here with a negative I gamma water AH, okay? So these are the changes in force due to seepage, okay? And so from here, we can say that the seepage force per unit volume is, and that's just going to be that delta P, whichever one you're interested in, divided by volume, okay? And so that'll be delta P. And remember, the volume of the soil sample was, was AH. And so um, in, the, in the case of, uh, of upward um, seepage, you just say this term divided by AH. And so if we have upward seepage, this actually simplifies, and we'll see that delta P uh, per unit volume ends up being, uh, you notice the AHs will cancel, will cancel, right? And so this becomes a uh, positive I gamma water. And in a uh, similar way for downward seepage, downward seepage, the force per unit volume, change in force per unit volume is just going to be a delta, I mean, a, a negative I gamma water. Okay. So, um, that, uh, uh, and, and this negative, you know, just indicates the opposite direction. So that concludes this background information on seepage force per unit volume. Again, this is a technique that might be useful to use, um, in certain applications of seepage analysis and geotechnical engineering. If you found this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe.